Okay, so Shelby, can you tell me something about your debate background and the experience that you have with debate so far? Sure, I have a very long background for debates. I uh, debated in high school. I also debated in college at Carroll College in Helena, Montana. And then after that, I got into coaching and I coached uh, American parliamentary debate for a total of five years before, well, I did it three years at Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon, and then I went to the University of Montana and coached their debate team while I was attending graduate school. And then after I finished school, I got the job at Rocky Mountain College, which I am still, I am currently at, and I finished my seventh year of teaching there. And so I've been coaching their debate team and teaching communication studies and and teaching public speaking and argumentation and organizational communication. So I've been doing that for seven years. So what does it mean to be the international new debaters track leader and what is the importance of this track for the forum? I think it means a lot to me to be the international new debaters track team leader because it's it's a tremendous opportunity for anybody who teaches public speaking or argumentation or debate to be able to be in this multicultural setting. It's a great opportunity and it's a great, I don't know, it's, it's an honor to be asked to be in that position. And it's, one, it's an opportunity that I don't have in Montana. And it just, it's, the idea is such a, in the youth forum is such a great community and it's a great network. And I'm just, it's good to be a part of that. I think the international new debaters track is important for the forum because I think there is, when you get into the lab, specifically the lab tracks, the BP track and the MTT track, those two tracks are so focused on, on the structure of debate and the format of the debate and I think that there needs to be, the, the, the new debaters track focuses on what an argument is and what clash is and which are all foundations for debate. And so I think you can teach debate without teaching that structure, but the structure is important for competition. So I think it's, it's important to have the track because argument comes first and developing good argument is, you should be a good arguer. For school, for, I mean, to be a good debater, but that extends into writing papers, that extends into your public speaking, that extends into your work life, you know, just being able to develop good arguments is a good skill. Do you think there is certain political background or let's say social class that debaters usually come from? Not that I, I think some countries you can say that, but I think that it's, debate is such an accessible activity and I think it's accessible by all socioeconomic classes and all cultures and I think it's, it's great that it is because it's, it teaches such important skills. So I think it's a, I don't think it's a, excludes anybody, which is what I really enjoy about it. And it, it just makes the multicultural aspect of the forum even stronger that, that we can have so many different cultures in the same place speaking about similar issues. So what were your expectations from this Global Youth Forum since you're leaving tomorrow? I'm leaving tomorrow, but this is my third forum as a trainer. My second one is the international or the new debaters track, and uh, my expectations, I, my expectations were just to have a great forum and to meet some great people, and I did. And I had great students in the IND track, and my IND track this year was smaller than the year before, so it was nice to be more focused and and the students spoke pretty good English, so it was nice to be able to really get into arguments and get into some really good activities with them. And uh, as opposed to last year, last year I just had a bigger track. I still was really happy with the track last year, but it just, I just wanted to, I don't know, meet some new people and be exposed to some new cultures, and I was. So it, it definitely fulfilled my expectations as far as that's concerned. I, I felt that this, crop of students this year, I felt that there was a real desire to learn. So there was, you know, the, we have some students from Ireland that were part of it this year, part of the camp this year. Um, I had the, a student from Serbia and one from Romania, and especially in the IND track, they just really wanted to learn how to debate. And that's, 
that you know after teaching for seven years those are the most that's the most fun to teach because they just desire for so much information They're like little sponges they just want more information and they take it all in and then they debate well and I it just makes me smile so it did I forgot the question it did it fulfill and exceed my expectations on the multicultural level so thank you very much